Hi everyone. This time I tried altering lightning bolt with、uh, phosphorescent pigment and acrylic paint. It was my first experience with phosphorescent pigment, so it was very experimental for me. Today, I want to share how to use this material through making this altered card. Now, this is a phosphorescent pigment. It absorbs the energy of light from white fluorescent light, white LED light, and the sun, and so on. And it grows in the dark. It looks like a white color during the day, but in the dark, it grows like illumination. This time, I used a blue green phosphorescent pigment. From now, add a c r i c k medium and water to this pigment and mix it on a palette to make the Paint of phosphorescent pigment. First, put the phosphorescent pigment on the palette. Then, add the acrylic medium to this and mix. Add enough acrylic medium to make sure the pigment. Will firmly set on the card and add water to it. Make it an appropriate viscosity and to prevent the paint from drying. An acrylic paint made from phosphorescent pigment is completed. We use this paint for standard this time. Next, let's mix this and acrylic paint to make paint for painting. Add white acrylic paint to the phosphorescent paint I made earlier. When adding acrylic paint to phosphorescent paint, I recommend not to add too much. This is because the concentration of the phosphorescent paint contained in the paint by mixing a lot of non phosphorescent paint decreases and the paint won't grow easily. On the right side of the screen, I made the same paint as the white phosphorescent paint in the center of the screen and mixed it with blue. The paint we r e mainly use for painting are completed. Let's try darkening the room to see how these paints actually grow. It's hard to see in the video. However, the paint mixed with only the phosphorescent pigment is the brightest, and the paint mixed with Acrylic paint degrees brightness a little. And like blue paint, phosphorescent paint adding acrylic paint grows, changing the shade slightly under the influence of the color of 
the added acrylic paint like the stained glass. In altering this time, I want to alter without changing the impression of the card by matching the color of the paint when it's seen in a bright place and the color of the paint when it's seen in a dark place. Phosphorescent pigment has the property that the brightness is clear when the pigment particles become dense. So, by painting with the paint diluted with water multiple times on a card, like when using watercolors, I want to adjust the brightness of the glowing part. Since the paint for painting is ready, let's actually alter a card. Paint the part of the brightest lighting bolt and the part of the light reflected to the surrounding clouds and valleys. Since the scenery around the lightning bolt is darker than the lightning bolt in the center, reduce the number of painting with the phosphorescent paint. If pile up too much the layer of the phosphorescent paint, particles of the phosphorescent pigment will appear on the surface of the card, such as the flower sprinkled. This problem bothered me a little, but I solved it by adjusting the impression of the screen by coloring the particle with acrylic paint thinly dissolved with water. Occasionally, darken the room and check the growing status of the phosphorescent paint on the card. This is the completed card. I may have used too much phosphorescent paint. The paint around the lightning bolt is very bumpy. I may need to research about this material a little more. Let's compare it with the original card. I feel that I was able to alter without changing the overall impression of the card. Let's try illuminate the card with a flashlight. I succeeded in growing the picture of the lightning bolt on the card. It seems better to illuminate a strong light for a certain period of time. Someday, I want to alter Jay's eyes with this paint. Please try altering using this material too. Everyone. 
see you again.